My name is Primrose Moyo. I am 29 years old. I came to South Africa with my parents in 1998, but I didn't write my metric. I just stopped at grade 11. I was sad because I was clever in that time. My teacher, like, they love to, like, tease me in front of the other kids say why are you here you are just accompanying another kid because you know that you're not gonna write anything you're not gonna write a metric without an id book prem was born in zimbabwe and uh, was not registered there if you are born outside of the country as a south african you have to get a birth certificate from that country where you were born it's one of the legal requirements for registering as a south african she remains unregistered in both Zimbabwe and South Africa because of that legal technicality. I had two kids, Nosipo and Ayanda. She cannot register their births for as long as she is undocumented. Her mother is undocumented and as a result, she, Prem, is undocumented and as a result, her two children are undocumented. I wanted to find a new school for Nosy, and they all said, well, if she doesn't have a birth certificate, she can't even put her foot in the door. I remember the stress on her face and her just saying, you know, what am I going to do? It's another child that doesn't have access to the world, that doesn't have a way to get a matrix, it does, doesn't, not only that matrix certificate, doesn't have a way to get into grade one. To deny a person the right to education is, is absolutely unforgivable. Quite apart from being unforgivable, it's unconstitutional. Every child in South Africa is entitled by virtue of that child's mere existence in this country to free education at the primary and secondary school level. If one has that as the attitude, if one has that as part of the DNA of each school in the country, you could never have the system where a little child is turned away because that child doesn't have a, a, an identity document. It's only when one starts looking at actual cases that you realize the enormous deprivation that statelessness brings about. People who are undocumented, people who are stateless, are often also completely without resources. They use all of their time, all of their money to be able to survive and care for their children. At home affairs, sometimes you got lucky, sometimes you are not, because it depends on how people treat you. When I go to a government office, I go there as of right. I'm not going to ask for favors. I am going to go there because I am entitled in terms of the Constitution to say, you are a government servant. You are to serve my interests. Your right to be behind that counter is only to serve me, not to sift and bypass and say go and stand at counter number three and come back and bother me once you've got a number or come back next week Tuesday. We don't deal, deal with people of your category today. Oh Shane, <laughs> I feel like I owe these people my life that helped me. Like if I didn't tell Sophia, I don't know, you know she would be still at home by now. So Prem is really lucky to have me, right? That's what everybody says. They go, oh, wow, you know, at least she has you. And that makes me so angry. Prem... Prem shouldn't have to have someone like me. Prem should be able to find justice and get access to help as Prem, because Prem is right to have these things. She's a human being. <laughs> she deserves this, you know? Prem is courageous. You know, she goes to home affairs and, you know, she could be arrested and deported and never see her kids again. 
And she does it because she knows they deserve something good and something better. And um, she did that many times. Brem's case, what it says for me about statelessness in South Africa is that it is completely unnecessary. We are now so suspicious of uh, anybody who wants to register and have their name put on the National Population Register. We are denying more people rights than can justify this aim of trying to keep the National Population Register clean. we are making it so difficult for people to register their births, the opposite is going to happen. More people will be unregistered. And these are not even just foreigners. They will be South Africans. In my practice, more than half of my clients are people born in South Africa and who are entitled to South African citizenship. It's not even a foreign issue. This is about uh, providing a service which which gives a person access to fundamental human rights in the country where they are born and in the country where they are entitled to them. We are very lucky to have Prim because she knows that she's got to fight for her girls. Um, and she, I wouldn't have done it unless she really wanted to do it. It was a long journey and um, it's still a long journey because she still needs to have her documents and we don't have that yet. But for her girls to be able to send them to school and watch that and go, ah, like, I mean, Nozzy's first day in her new uniform just was magic. <laughs>